You're right, guys. Clinicality here. Back with another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today we are reviewing the inform Mario Gomez from Besiktas. Now he picked himself this inform up for his two goals that he scored in their last game, in which they won 4-0. And a lot of people, including myself, think he should have had an earlier inform. But oh well, he has one now. As you can see on screen now, we built him in a full German team. Obviously, he is in the Turkish league, so he isn't the easiest to fit into teams. But this team was really, really good. The link-up play between the two wingers, Gomez and Goethe, was absolutely brilliant. And I highly recommend you try this team out for yourselves. Now, in terms of the player instructions, I decided to tell him to stay central and to play as a target man. Obviously, he is a big man and he has some incredible heading stats, so you want him in the box looking to be a target man. And with these instructions, he did exactly that. He played perfectly, so definitely recommend you use these instructions on him. Now, it says we played eight games, two of the games disconnected in the first minute. So we did actually play six games, and in those games, he managed to score eight goals and get two assists. That's more than a goal a game. I am very happy with that. And he only cost us 21,750 coins and he is going for around 18,000 coins on both consoles at the time of making this video. So he is very, very cheap. Now in terms of base stats, he has 74 pace, 74 dribbling, 81 shooting, 30 defending, 60 passing and 80 physical. On to the in-game stats now and obviously the standout stat there for him has to be that 88 strength. Absolutely incredible on a striker. 91 attacking positioning as well to go with it. Skill attributes, some of them are really good. 91 heading accuracy, 87 finishing, 85 shot power, absolutely brilliant. And 78 volleys. He is 6 foot 2, obviously he plays striker, right footed, medium medium work rates, 4 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. And he has the strength speciality and the injury prone trait. Now, as we jump into the clips, I want to start off by talking about a pretty surprising aspect of this guy's card, and that is his passing. Now, for a target man, you do not expect him to have brilliant passing. He's going to be the one on the end of it most of the time. But Gomez's passing is absolutely on point. Every pass was perfectly weighted. His short passing is absolutely insane, and his long passing isn't too bad either. Now, obviously, being a target man, he knows how to be on the end of those passes as well. In particular, the crosses. This guy's jumping and heading stats are off the charts. And combine that with his 88 strength, he becomes an absolute menace in the box. Time and time again, he will leap like an absolute salmon, nod it in the back of the net and give us a free goal. I do not remember a single defender out jumping him in all of the games that we played. And one of them, the guy had three legends at the back and Gomez still beat them all to the ball every single time in the air. His headers have power, they have accuracy, just absolutely perfect heading. Now to go with his incredible heading abilities, he knows how to finish with his feet as well. I mean, look at that one there. What a goal that is. The ball drops to him, he just chests it down, bicycle kick into the bottom corner. Absolutely brilliant goal. When it comes to finishing, Gomez knows what he's doing. His finesse shots are absolutely quality. His drill shots have so much power behind them. He can score volleys, he can score headers. This guy has it all. Now, it does say, however, on his card that he has 61 long shots. That is a complete lie. Gomez knows how to score a long shot as well. So much power behind them. Definitely, if you get a chance with him on the edge of the box, hit it because it probably will go in. And overall, I just cannot speak highly enough of Gomez's finishing. Now he does also have 4 star weak foot, meaning he can finish on his left as well as his right. Which for a striker who doesn't have an awful lot of pace, is quite an important thing to have. Being able to get onto either foot and just shoot is so so helpful. Now overall his dribbling is fairly good, however he does only have 2 star skill moves. And not being able to even do a roulette is fairly annoying. And to go with that his first touch can be a little bit off as well sometimes. But for the most part this card is absolutely ridiculous. Now, over the six games that we played, he scored an average match rating of 8.5. That is really good. Very, very consistent as well. He scored in five out of the six games. So he certainly wasn't a one-trick pony. Now, under pros, I've put his jumping and heading, as I said, absolutely ridiculous. His strength combined, obviously, with his jumping is just insane. Finishing and long shots, all of this guy's shooting is absolutely superb. Short passing, as I said at the start, surprisingly brilliant. 
and obviously his positioning. If it wasn't for his positioning, he wouldn't have been in those areas to score so many goals. So I'm definitely a fan of his attacking positioning. Obviously under cons, we have his pace, not the best in the world, only 74 and you can't really expect too much out of him. And it definitely felt like that as well. His first touch occasionally was off and obviously two star skill moves is not very good on any player. Overall, I've given him an 8 out of 10. Really, really fun card to use. A completely different style to what I'm used to, but definitely really enjoyed using him. And if any of you guys like to play with one big target man and cross that ball in, this guy 100% is for you. I really didn't expect all that much out of his card, but I really did just love playing with it. It's so much fun to use. So as I say, if you guys do play that style, definitely recommend you guys pick him up. But I also recommend anyone going and trying him out because he is cheap and he is very, very good. Obviously, the only other downfall is he's kind of hard to fit into teams, but there are a lot of great German players. And you've also got the likes of Nani and Charisma from the Turkish league that you could fit into a team with him as well. So definitely worth a shot. As always, if you guys do decide to go and pick him up, let me know down in the comments how you got on with him, if he was just as fun to use for you as he was for me. Always like to see that. Other than that though, if you did enjoy or found this video helpful in any way at all, a like would be much appreciated. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more. I have brand new FIFA content every single week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.